Lego Minecraft's great? Well, it's not. We've got sets based on the end, the nether, villages, and the oversized pig house. Yes, this is a real Lego set. When you build it in game, not only is it completely impractical, the main play feature is way less fun, not to mention that nobody knows what it is. But what if it was more iconic? Your first night in the game, for example, you create a new world, go exploring, and when night comes, you have no choice but to quickly build a house. Using Lego dirt blocks, we can easily construct an incredibly strong, robust, and zombie-proof shelter to last the night, which is definitely better than whatever this is. I mean, wouldn't it be much better if Lego made sense that people could relate to? Like, for example, building a massive pillar to try and land the MLG water bucket to prove to yourself that life has meaning and landing it every single time without fail. This is a simple $10 set which every player understands and it's the reason that my mouse looks like this. In fact, I've got dozens of fantastic ideas to hopefully get me working for Lego by proving myself as a designer for the people. This is the most viewed Minecraft video of all time, something that literally everybody knows. By using Lego Minecraft blocks, we can begin to construct a base for the set to go on, something sturdy which won't break easily as well as a pathway just like in the video. Now, the majority of the music video takes place either in this opening or in the cave. So I built a small little cave with some ores, torches and water, as well as a tree and a fence for the outside. One problem though, I don't actually own a Lego Creeper. Oh man. <laughs> <clears throat> so after buying the pig house, which I hate so, so much, I ripped one single minifigure from his grips and voila! Every Minecraft player's childhood favourite song now in Lego. But with all these pieces left from the pig house, I knew there was only one iconic thing I could possibly build. Something that everybody recognises, which is of course Stampy's Love Garden. A place from one of the OG Minecraft YouTubers worlds where subscribers would get their names written on signs in Stampy's lovely world. I personally grew up with this like millions of others and it is definitely iconic. Similarly, I also love DanTDM, another OG Minecraft YouTuber who just so happened to have a sidekick villager, Traorus. He was a scientist, so I decided to build one of his contraptions, the trolling machine. You place a minifigure up here, release the trapdoor, and they get trolled! also known as being tortured or burnt alive. This with a DanTDM minifigure and a stampy one is a perfect nod to old Minecraft YouTube and is without a doubt very iconic. And after asking people what other iconic sets I could make, the answers were clear. 2012 was a pretty scary time for us Minecraft players and if you played back then you'll remember the horror stories we all heard about. After a long day of mining you make your way back to the base but the trees seem slightly off. No leaves, which is weird because you didn't do that. There's also a strange pyramid in the middle of the sky, which is admittedly probably just a glitch. As you get closer to your home, you hear your dogs being attacked. You know you have to defend your animals, but you see this. Paragon. This guy is probably the most well-known Minecraft character, but in all of Minecraft, there was only one known way to summon him. A circle of gold blocks with torches and fire. Using Lego blocks of something similar, we can do exactly that with pretty little difficulty. As well as popping some white eyes on a Steve minifigure, building a leafless tree and a pyramid to give us possibly the most horrifying Lego set of all time. This set without a doubt would be recognized by most Minecraft players, but I'm sorry, there is absolutely no way in hell I'm keeping this thing in my room. Do you think I'm stupid? I have a brain and I'm gonna use it. I'm taking no risk. See, as a Minecraft veteran, I've already experienced quite enough trauma because whilst the end of the nether were cool and all, we all wanted something new and exciting to make the game more interesting. So when word spread about a new mysterious realm, it was very exciting. I mean, all the tutorials made it look easy, just a glowstone frame with water and voila, the ether. Except one slight caveat, it, um, never actually worked. This is quite possibly the biggest con in the history of Minecraft, and be honest, you tried it just like the rest of us. Although Lego Glowstone only comes in like three sets, which I don't have any of. So using digital software, I can upload Glowstone bricks to create a portal on my computer. I began with making a small base for it to go on, similar to the existing Lego Minecraft sets. Actual Lego designers create their sets this way too, so this would be a fantastic way to show just how much better Lego is than Mega Constructs. I split the build into two pieces, one half being the overworld, the other the ether with some clouds and weird flying mobs. And after adding the portal, all I had to do was build the water, but also making it accurate. So this is what we have. An incredibly iconic Lego Minecraft set depicting something that all Minecraft fans understand. Half of the set being the mysterious ether realm, the elusive location which we've all tried to reach with it being impossible to do unless you have this set. You've got flying mobs, clouds, purple plants, brand new trees, and the other half has the overworld, which which, to be honest, isn't quite as interesting. I mean, the mobs don't fly, but for $30, this would be amazing.
amazing. Now imagine this. You're out on your horse when you see a cave. You go into it to see what's there and you see this. Absolutely unlimited amounts of rare ores, minerals, items in chests with unspeakable surprises. And after spending hours collecting your riches, you decide to make your way to the surface, but you saw one last door. So naturally you make your way over there when, um, yeah, it doesn't really work out, so let me introduce you to the Lego Drowning in Lava set. Here we have a small cave with tons of lava and one lone diamond door. If we take the minifigure's legs off, we can surround them with lava to reenact the never-ending pain and the reason that I broke my arm one summer. But to really rub it in, we've also got tons of items scattered around that you can't get to because you're dead. But at least now I've got tons of iconic Lego Minecraft sets and an unreasonable amount of Lego Minecraft pieces. So, subscribe right now, there's no time.